In this video, we're going to prove that these two spans are equal, so proof. So what is a span? Well, the span here on the left-hand side is the set of all linear combinations of these vectors. And the span here is the set of all linear combinations of these vectors. So we have to prove here that these sets are actually equal. So we're going to use the method of double inclusion. We'll show that they're both subsets of each other. So we'll avoid using any theorems or anything. We'll just give a direct proof. So first, let's show this direction. So we'll take any x in the span on the left-hand side. So the span of the vectors 1, negative 2, 3, and 0, 1, negative 1. Then we're going to write down what it means uh, for a vector to be in the span, and then we have to show it's here. So this means there exists some scalars, in this case real numbers, alpha and beta in R, such that our vector x is a linear combination of these vectors. So the vector x can be written as alpha times the first vector, so 1, negative 2, 3, plus beta times 0, 1, negative 1. And we somehow have to show that x is a linear combination of the vectors in this span. So we already have the first one and the second one. Well, we can simply do this. We can add 0 times this vector. And we haven't changed anything, and now we have x written as a linear combination of these vectors here. And so that's exactly what it means for x to be in the span of the vectors 1, negative 2, 3, 0, 1, negative 1, and 1, 0, 1. So again, we started with the vector x in this set. We wrote down what it meant for it to be in this set. It means this. Then we realized that we wanted to write it as a linear combination of the vectors over here. And we did that simply by adding 0 times the missing vector. And then we have x written as a linear combination of the vectors in this set here. And so x belongs to the span. So we took any x in this set and we showed it belonged to this one. So the first inclusion is shown. So I'll go ahead and write it one more time. So the span of this a lot of writing, um, but it's not too hard. It's actually pretty easy. Is contained in this span here. So 0, 1, negative 1, and 1, 0, 1. So I think that was the easy direction. So I said it's kind of easy, but uh, I think the other direction is going to be a little bit harder. So let's, let's try it. So now we'll show the other inclusion. So we'll take any. vector x in the set on the right hand side. So in the span of, I should have abbreviated this stuff, <laughs> 1, negative 2, 3, 0, 1. Oh yeah, this is going to be a little bit trickier. 1, 0, 1. Okay. And so what does this mean? So this means we can write x as a linear combination of those vectors. Those, this means there exists alpha, beta, and gamma in R. No idea why I'm using um, Greek letters. <laughs> Such that X is a linear combination of these guys. So X is equal to alpha times 1, negative 2, 3 plus beta times 0, 1, negative 1 plus gamma times 1, 0, 1. Ah, indeed, this is the hard direction. So we have to show that x is a linear combination of only these two vectors here. Let me circle them, right? We have to show x is in this set. So x has to be a linear combination of just these guys. Well, we've already got this taken care of, because here, this is one of the vectors in this span. And this one's also in the span, so there's no issues there. We just have to deal with 1, 0, 1. So this is where we actually have to think a little bit harder. So we go to the side. This is not part of the proof. And we have to figure out a way to write 1, 0, 1 as a linear combination of 1, negative 2, 3. So I'll go ahead and write it here. 1, 
negative 2, 3. And 0, 1, negative 1. Okay. So it looks like, uh, let's see, 1 plus 0. So this has to be multiplied by 1, I think, because we need to have this component uh, being 1. So we can't change that. And so how can we make the second component 0? We have a negative 2 here. So if I multiply this by 2, let's see. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. 3 minus 2 is 1. Yep, this works. You can check and verify. So again, how did I do that? I knew this had to be a 1 because 1 plus 0 is 1. And then I had to put a 2 here because we wanted to make this 0. So negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So it's a little bit tricky uh, and it requires some thought. So now we're going to go back to the proof. I'll stick with yellow. This is equal to alpha 1, negative 2, 3 plus beta 0, 1, negative 1 plus gamma, and now we're going to rewrite our vector like we did over here. This is 1 times 1, negative 2, 3, plus 2 times 0, 1, negative 1, right? Just replacing this vector here with this stuff here. And now let's condense this. So this is the vector x. It's equal to, let's see, um, we have 1, negative 2, 3 here, and we have it here. So this is going to be, let's factor out the vector. So it'll be alpha plus gamma times 1, negative 2, 3. So what I did was I factored out this vector from these two terms here. And then here we have the other vector here and here. So it'll be beta plus, and then there's a gamma here. Let me use a different color. There's a gamma here, and there's a 2 here. So 2 gamma, gamma, times our vector, which is 0, 1, negative 1. That's a gamma, and that's a 2. All right, so just very, very careful uh, rearranging. Again, let me go over that one more time. So here we have this vector here and this vector here. And so that was alpha plus gamma. That's that piece there. And over here, we have this vector here and this vector here. So that's 2 gamma plus beta. And that's what we have down here. And this is certainly in the span of 1, negative 2, 3, 0, 1, negative 1. So we took any vector x in this set, and we showed it was contained in this one. So this means that the span of 1, negative 2, 3, 0, 1, negative 1, and 1, 0, 1 is contained in the other span here. So kind of rushed and kind of messy there, but... Um, hopefully it made some sense. So we showed both inclusions, and so by the method of double inclusion, uh, the spans are equal. So, so the proof is, is done. So again, I hope that made sense. It got a, a little bit messy here uh, with the colors, uh, but the idea is pretty simple. Uh, the first direction was trivial. This, this direction here, though, required a bit more work. And again, it, it's when you get here, right? You are, this is taken care of because that's certainly in the span. This is taken care of. The only thing you really have to deal with is this. You just got to write this as a linear combination of these two guys here. Uh, I hope that made sense.